What's up everybody, Quan here. I wanted to talk to you guys about sharing your opinion on social media. Honestly, it's a really tough thing to do. I myself, it took me 27 years to start doing it, 28 years, <laughs> I'm being real. I know there wasn't internet 28 years ago, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, I recently started sharing my opinion and I want to let you guys know of a few things that happened. So when I started talking about a lot of the things that go along with the murder of George Floyd, my opinion, Black Lives Matter, being active in your community, being peaceful, not aggressive, all those things. A lot of people started calling me names like Uncle Tom, Sellout, you know, Whitewash, things like that, because I don't believe in violence. I don't believe in hurting other people to get what you want. Um, I don't believe in stealing what you want ever. Like, I just don't think that's what you're supposed to do, right? Um, but when all that happened, I'm looking at these messages coming in. I'm probably getting hate messages two to one, like two to one for every one nice message is two hate messages. So things were real tough, right? And for me, I've always wanted people to like me, right? I've always wanted people to care about me. So that was really tough for me to look at. But then it hit me one day as I was preparing my third video on the topic. I said, you know what? People are gonna hate me for being silent because I looked on Instagram. People are being like, if you're silent, it's a problem. People are gonna hate me for being aggressive. Oh, if you're aggressive, it's a problem. People are gonna hate you for being like almost a, um, a, a nice about it. Oh, well, you're being too nice. You gotta stop being nice. You gotta stand up for your people. So in anything you're gonna share, just remember the hate is gonna come. You have to understand that with an opinion, it's gonna come a disagreement. That's just part of life. So don't look at it as, oh man, like everyone hates me, like no one loves me. Like, nah, man, the people who mess with you are always gonna mess with you. Just know that as long as you're sharing your opinion from a place of love, that you really can't go wrong. Don't share your opinion as a way to hurt somebody else, but share it as a way to have you know constructive criticism and a nice debate. A lot of people today can't debate. As soon as you challenge someone's opinion, they're like, oh, you, you know, you must be racist or you think this. No, you must be this or that, liberal Republican. Like, no, I just might be looking for the for my answer for myself. So don't allow people to tell you how to how to feel, how to speak. Just come out there and do it yourself. Like, just be who you are, and the rest will, will come from there. Your friends, if they were your friends before you say whatever you're gonna say, they're gonna be your friends after. And if you're trying to share your opinion to let a group of people know you care about them, I don't know if that's necessarily the route. Just go ahead and you know be yourself. Don't treat someone different or start sharing things differently because they're cool or not. Just, just share your opinion, stand up for what you believe in and everything's gonna be okay. And that's for the hate. If you're still here, you made it to the best part. How I deal with hate, man. Just remember, no matter what you do, no matter where you go, people are gonna love you, people are gonna hate you. No matter what, if you sit in the house all day and collect Pokemon figurines. People are gonna say you're a hermit and you're weird and you're gonna be all right and they're gonna be people who are gonna be huge fans of that and ask you, where'd you get your toys from? Can they see them? Can we trade them? Can they buy them? You might become a millionaire from that. And I use and I use that like very loose analogy to say, whoever you are, that person is perfectly fine. You're beautiful, you're amazing the way you are, you're awesome the way you are. Don't ever let anyone tell you that who you are is unacceptable. As long as you're not hurting people. Then it's like, all right, bro, you can't, okay, if you're a serial killer, that's not, that's not acceptable. But anything outside of that, you know what I'm trying to say, guys. Um, we just, we gotta, we gotta learn to love ourselves more and we gotta learn to recognize that our voice matters. Um, your voice will always matter. The way you feel will always matter. And I wanna let you know that you will always matter. And I got up this morning to tell you guys about all these things because it's, it's been weighing heavy on my heart. I've had a lot of friends hitting me up in the DMs about how do I share my opinion? How do I do this? How do I do that? Just be who you are, man. Think from a perspective of if I was the person I was trying to talk to, how would I like to be talked to? As long as you're respectful and cool, more than likely your message will come across very organized and clean. So keep being who you are, guys. Keep loving, keep being awesome. And honestly, we're gonna make it through these tough times together. Whatever tough time you're going through at the time of watching this video, just know life is cyclical. They will pass, the good times will return, things will get better. Just do everything in your power that you can to keep things going in the direction that you want. Never give up on your goals, never give up on your dreams. Keep working now, keep loving, keep building and fostering new relationships. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Again, my name is Quan. Like, comment, subscribe, share with anyone who might need a boost. Love you guys. I'm gonna go enjoy the sunrise and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.